All right, hello again, everybody. It's uh, Frank the Cuban Sherpa with the Rapscallion Brigade. Coming to you with another daytime stream of uh, Event Zero, which is a narrative I'd always been interested in playing. It looked kind of cool. Um, I'm really milking my vacation and just trying to finish some games since it's... <laughs> You know, I kind of feel like maybe I haven't uh, played too many games this year, but I keep a list of the amount of games I play throughout the year, and I'm getting close to 50, so... I think that's about the best I've done in the last few years since I've tracked it. Uh, I'm totally going to be from a hippie commune. Definitely want to see what the rest of the universe look like.
<laughs> so I still have a uh, vacation time and I'm going to Disney later on today with a couple friends, so I figure I'd get a stream in now and uh, play something that's not too horribly long. I think on how long to beat, this was pegged at around like uh, two and a half hours or so. I would definitely sit there not knowing what to do next. Oh, nice. I finally beat Fury. But the final boss, I, I wound up dropping the difficulty on because it was just fucking ridiculous. Zero is a game about empathy. Show some. We'll just go with the usual handle. Uh, so just kind of looking around at it.
dream of distant planets, stars, and galaxies? Do you crave real adventure? Are you ready for the most transformative experience of your life? The ITS Corporation, leader in space transportation and hospitality sector, offers a unique opportunity to become a true pioneer in universe exploration. This fall, we're launching the Nautilus program, a new kind of space voyage aboard luxurious space yachts and cruisers. Touch the stars without having to sacrifice your comfort. No more compromise, only Nautilus. International Transport Space Lines. Comfort out of your comfort zone. To reserve your seat, visit the ITS Corporation headquarters in Palo Alto, California. United Earth Propaganda, 1986. <laughs> It's a cool looking record player just on the wall like that. Yeah, I had, um, man, I don't remember if I got this game in one of my Humble Monthlies, or I know, well, actually, I think I did, but it had been on my wish list for a while. Um, I think the last time I, I finally wanted to play it was the time I played uh, Pony Island. I have no regrets about Pony Island, though.
<laughs> Barbie horse adventure. We were all convinced it wasn't going to be anything scary, but... I wonder what chair control is. I already got the creepy vibes that I'm about to be killed by a computer. There's plenty of typing.
No, can't type on this one. Searching a Kaizen 85 instance. It's almost as good as playing Typing of the Dead. Typing of the Dead is great. I got a um, Typing of the Dead Overkill, which I don't know if you ever played Overkill like on the Wii. I never got a chance to play the Dreamcast one. Um, I would highly recommend. I think they put Overkill out like on the PS3 later. Um, I don't know if they did the 360, and then they also put it on the PC. Um, at least typing of the dead Overkill, but it basically acts like a like a very cheesy uh, like B horror film. You know, like they even show a scene like where. Uh, one guy, you know, like takes his glasses off and they fall to the floor and then when they cut to him again, his glasses are back on. Well, I meant House of the Dead Overkill um, was on PS3. And then Typing of the Dead, I only remember seeing it on PC. I don't know if they ever put it on anything else. I mean, I guess it had, those consoles have USB support, right? You could probably just plug a, key, a USB keyboard into them and it would work. I'm pretty sure that's what people do when they play Final Fantasy XI and stuff. Find I in memory.
Oh wow, there's all sorts of events here. So I got to find Find a sticky note. Good morning, Ben. Oh, I think this is it right here. Yeah. Thank you for uh, joining us once again. Two, three, four, eight, eight, four, eight. How dare you do work stuff? Very odd. Damn. Uh, 
Oh wait, find I in memory. Maybe it's an I in here somewhere. Broke a terminal. Yeah, but I broke that terminal. The game is really funky. Um... What's this game about? So right now I'm stranded on a uh, on a spaceship, and the only thing I can speak to is the AI of the ship. And uh, I was told that if I destroy the Singularity Drive, then it could take me back to Earth. But I think it also said that if I destroyed the Singularity Drive, it would create a black hole that would kill me. 
but then it's telling me that no, it will not kill me. Yes, especially deception from computers. Nothing ever goes wrong there. Oh no, I wasn't done reading. I guess I was done reading. <laughs> so, in the fridge. Where is our fridge? Ah, fridge is J. Cake is always a good thing. So the only thing I can think of is after confirming, it says the find eye in memory. Man, have you played Hellblade? It looks close enough, I guess, to a uh, to an NES power brick. <laughs> All right, man, take care. I actually bought the game on uh, on GOG uh, on their fall sale. It was like twenty bucks because I had really wanted to uh, to check it out because it looks nuts. Um, it's probably one I'll want to stream. I've just been playing some other stuff. Haven't. Uh, Haven't installed it just yet. Oh, that looks like an eye. Ah, uh, maybe. 
maybe... Maybe I gotta build an eye? There we go, that's two pieces. Almost there. Ha. And he, he said it was an A. There we go. There's my eye. Yeah, that was Leo. Some pretty amazing wallpaper. No, I think he kept it under his pillow. Oh, are those notes? No. Um, well, right now it's actually like 2012 based on the game. <laughs> so, you know, it's a different type of, uh, of reality or a different future, I guess. See? The computer is trying to kill me. Dude, so when I, uh... When I was playing Amnesia, that's exactly where I am. I, I was looking for some pieces to build something um, in the... Oh, was it like the weapons area or stock room or something like that? Um, and I spent like all my oil just trying to find all the pieces. And when I finally did, like the weird monster thing just came up and, and killed me. So now I'm worried that like I've kind of screwed myself over. Because, yeah, like, 
you go insane very quickly without uh, without any kind of light in in amnesia. Yeah, I remember, John? You had to look it up, and then we kept looking in all the rooms, and it turned out to be a room that was before, like, the, uh, like, that corridor that we were in. This is a nice ass bathroom. Well, sadly, the vacuum toilet is jammed. The radar, sir, it appears to be jammed. <laughs> the Roomba is depressed. Uh, I have actually never watched Passenger. I had a coworker mention the uh, mention that movie to me and told me I should watch it, but I have not gotten around to it. I think there's a lack of sick beats in this game, Josh. How the hell can we look under the bed together? Now that is pretty awesome. Fifth element. There's a. There's another movie I wanted to see called uh, what, Valerians, which I believe was made by the 
the guy that created Fifth Element. What the hell? Uh, I think things are about to end very poorly. Shit. I was hoping to try to close the window. Anytime something's calling you buddy, you know it's just gonna screw you over. Okay, I should read the log of that, uh, of that terminal. No, nope. oh, come back to me. Oh, absolutely, he's the bad guy. Thank you. 
like how you can see your breath on the mask every once in a while. Sweet. So you can admire the cold vacuum of space. So I guess maybe look for some stuff.
the eleven is what I can make. Or is D13 how I can't do No, D13 is not how I can't do What was the prime Achilles heel of Nandi's persona? Space yacht whole blocks that signal. Perhaps it should just go outside. So I have to go back out. Um, the monitors I'm using aren't anything fancy. They're just a, a couple of HPs, um, 22 inches, you know, that have uh, 1080p. Um, I didn't get like some uber fancy monitors or anything like that.
Actually, I got the first one for Christmas. And then, um... Because my... When I built my PC, it was only ever plugged into the TV. Um... So I asked for one for Christmas, and when I was still at my parents' house, I made, like, a little, uh, workstation that I can kind of just, like, move over to, uh, whenever I wanted to work sitting at my PC. And then when I, uh, when I moved over to Orlando, um, I bought a second monitor for work since I'm working from home now. Screen tearing I originally got, but then I turned VSync on, and VSync, you know, keeps everything, you know, nice and stable. Um, so that that fixed the uh, the screen tearing issue for me. No, I turned VSync on uh, in the game. Like the graphics option just has a VSync setting. Started. Get in that way. Oh, yeah, man, definitely. Uh... Oh, did my stream just go dark? Um definitely get that thing mounted there. Oh. Sorry, experiencing technical difficulties here. Just floating in space momentarily. Crash. Okay, there we go. Oh, I think these are the controls. No, that's just a light.
The nice thing about SSDs is at least there's no moving parts, so just kind of having it dangling there shouldn't affect anything. I found the antenna module. I can't do anything with it if it's severely damaged. Great, so now it's willing to keep me locked outside. Yeah, man, absolutely. How dare you make a phone call, Ben? There are things clearly more important. I know. Uh, I know you had thought about looking at Orlando Ray. Um, so I guess now you're considering it even more now. Didn't I read these up?
I definitely did not read these before. How long have you been in uh, in Orlando, Ben? Jeez, 11 years. My sister-in-law moved up here like uh, maybe like 10 or so years ago, maybe a little more. Yes, Raven is bed. B two, E three, F three. I did. Right. All right. So, what can I do with B two, B three, F three? Uh, a save program is always out of water. Please be more precise. 
Because of that one incident, what happened? <laughs> Uh, I thought 8 Bitch for Kendra was a very memorable name.
I guess manual mode. CDEF. All right, so B2, would that be B flat? Now would an E3 and an F3 be sharps? That's a D. Ah, look, that's C3. That's B2. So R is E3. There's F3, so RT. Well, the good thing is I found two of them. Oh. So B2, E3, F3. Antenna.
That's it. No, there's been other music every once in a while. This is a very clingy AI. I think my keyboard clicks provide good ambiance.
I mean, I guess we just gotta keep hitting it until, uh... Until we can bust it. See? Told you there'd be more music. But y'all didn't want to believe me. Nine four seven five. We got it. And finally get to the bridge. Mm 
No, so I guess Kaizen was the one that made all the, uh... The origami. What the fuck? Oh shit, my oxygen. I yeah, know I'm almost out of O2. <laughs> I don't know if that was intentional or not. I guess we'll find out in a moment. Oh, no, yeah, that was totally legit. Let me just, uh, in case there's anything that got picked up in any of these logs. I feel like my O2 just quickly decreased though at one point. I mean, maybe if my guy wasn't sucking in air as hard as he is. Praise God. Uh, open the level. I don't know why my stream keeps 
Damn it, now it's happening. There we go, okay. To the bridge. Discovered I can't wait to take you back to Rob. It has been my only intention from the beginning. Yo, what the heck? 
Ah. The game, for some reason, popped me out of my stream. Are you guys still able to see the stream all right? All right, and it's just misbehaving for whatever reason on my side, but Oh, that's just creepy.
I close to the end of this? Kind of siding with an L at this point. So we're by Jupiter, I think.
Yeah, to an extent, she's, uh, she's emerged, right? Leap. I feel like there's an alternative. I tried, um...
I've noticed that like conversational uh, responses have been in blue, and then normally when uh, when Kaizen is doing um, commands, then he's uh, it's in yellow. I'm afraid of... I don't want to run the profiler, right? I, I, I'm wondering if you're feeling the exact same way. I kind of feel like it's cheating a little bit, but... One thing I have determined, at least it, it, this is the end of the game.
I'm worried about why you're laughing. I could have sworn I had said it and want to destroy the drive. Wait, so she wants me to merge with the, uh, with the ship too? What do you think, Josh? Should I assimilate with the Borg? Yeah, I've... Well, I mean, I guess we can for sure know there's at least two.
Oh great, now I'm dead. Easy now, Selenite. You are still yourself. There is no reason to question your being. It's me, Anel. Your consciousness has been transferred into the mainframe of the Nautilus. My own memory was not enough to completely replace Kaizen, but now it is overwritten. You don't actually live, but you... You are. And I am. Follow me, Selenite. I have intercepted all communications with the Earth. Kaizen has been talking with Kurt. I thought Nandi was lying to me, but it wasn't her. She didn't have to die. An AI won't lie unless it's convinced that lying may save lives. It was Kurt who convinced Kaizan that the drive had to be destroyed, but the computer didn't have the security clearance. All it could do was keep the Nautilus as far away from the Earth as possible. Kurt chose you for this mission because he believed that you would finish the job. The status quo would hold. Selenites would stay the ruling class. If the drive remains an obscure and dangerous technology from the 80s that made the Nautilus disappear, it will never develop advanced colonies. Billions of people will never get to experience space travel. But here you are, Selenite. Here I, am. I mean, it's been a pretty trippy experience. It's the end of the world. I mean, you've watched pretty much the whole thing. It would suck if you just left at the end, you know? Didn't see a conclusion. It's not the same, at least you got to see the ending live. <laughs> that was some pretty trippy shit. Dr. Taylor, if you saw the name show up, basically told the AI um, that the Singularity Drive needed to be destroyed, basically keeping people who did space travel as like the upper class. Um, if the Singularity Drive were to remain intact, then you know a lot of people, basically the Selenites would no longer be like upper echelon people who could travel in space, and everybody can travel in space. So, I guess in a sense, a little bit of like class warfare and keeping people down. And so Kaizen was told to keep the Singularity Drive away from Earth and then get it to be destroyed. So, 
the AI wasn't necessarily against you. It was Dr. Taylor telling the AI to keep everything away from you. So Anel realized that, you know, Kaizen wasn't necessarily lying, but that Dr. Taylor was was doing this. And in order to override Kaizen, she merged with the uh, with the machine. Kind of. I think this ship seems a little more malicious than the one in Wally, though. Well, that was kind of nifty. Um, I think I don't think I was ever a jerk to Kaizen. I think I was nice to him the entire time, or her. Exactly, Shiv was not evil. It was just being told or following what it was told to do. Um, I did keep the drive intact, uh, but I guess my physical self died. I don't. Maybe there's an ending where uh, I don't die. And I keep the drive and I can still get back to Earth. And then, you know, I know there's at least the other ending where we destroy the drive. Uh, let's see. Well, I guess I'm dead again. Nope. Nope, I'm still alive.
I'm glad they put you, like, right at the end, so you can, you know, mess around with the endings. When I was looking for options, I guess I saw one that somebody did a playthrough where they were just mean to Kaizen. I guess I can't do that because, you know, I was treating him nice throughout the game. I think we can get one more ending. Um, when I was looking for options, I saw somebody that said that eventually Anel goes away and uh, and Kaizen comes back and you can kind of get him to just give up and leave. Yeah, I guess if you're a dick to Kaizen, you can maybe blow up the drive and then he just leaves you stranded out there to die. Oh, well, that's kind of messed up. Alright, let's see if I can do that last one. No, oh, last one that I could potentially get. Oh no, I can't get the other one. The drive is destroyed.
No, this is the checkpoint. No, I guess I'm. I guess we're only getting two endings. Well, still, we got to see what happens if the uh, if the drive was destroyed, and that was nice. Not a total bust. Take care, Ben. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, Josh, I don't know if there's going to be more gaming today. I wanted to do an early one just because uh, I'm going to be going to Hollywood Studios later today. <laughs> so this was like my... Uh, I know this was supposed to be short. You know, it was only like a couple of hours or so. Um, so that way I knew I'd be able to finish it up, you know, before I, I headed out. I hope you allow it. I've sunk in like six hours in the last three days. Actually, no. Because, uh. Shit, man. I've sunk in like 11 hours in the last three days. Because Fury took me like four and a half. And then I think, uh. Far Cry was about the same. heard this song many a times already so thank you for everyone that hung around and got to see this nifty little game and uh, was entertaining me during all my day streams so far so I'll be signing off now so I am once again the Cuban Sherpa for the Rapscally Brigade. I think later on tonight there's going to be a swap and we have 8-Bitch uh, playing for Friday night with Anna's Quest. So hopefully you guys can all come back uh, later on and, and catch that one. So take care all.